the artifacts was kind of an accumulation of 50 years, and how you get some of these artifacts into the country is kind of amazing. Uh, some of the books were written by various people about the bishop's life, but my mother, who lived over in Panama, Iowa, was a sister-in-law of the bishop. Uh, they supported the bishop over the years, and the bishop would give them information or give them materials, and he'd bring back things like the necklaces or the mask and things like that, but it's an accumulation of things from the family members, brothers and sisters and others. I feel that it is a lot better place here than in my basement and in the drawers. That's why I was so glad to give it here. And I really appreciate them taking it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of amazing to me that there's so much information about this man who basically brought a lot of religion and culture to New Guinea. And when he went over there, the country was undeveloped. It was after World War II and he taught himself how to fly a, an airplane so he could get around the country. And uh, I see this and I think this is an amazing person who could go there and survive and grow and, and bring the Catholic Church to all these people. I was there after he was there quite a while. We went and then we saw all the beautiful churches he built and the hospitals and the schools. It was just wonderful to think that somebody could do that much for so short a time, really. Uh -huh. He used to come to my house. He even said mass at my house. And of course, I, my husband and I were the first couple that he married. My husband and I never carried health insurance. We always gave money to the bishop and we said he was our policy. He was the best insurance policy we ever had. <laughs> uh, the Archbishop uh, Leo was, is, should be a saint uh, for living the life he did, dedicated to the natives, de dedicated to the people, and dedicated to the church. And he would come back periodically uh, about every five to ten years whenever he got so sick from malaria to recover, and then he'd go back to his country. And when he died, he wanted to be buried in his home country. He didn't even want to be buried back here the country and the people meant so much to him.